How's it going, guys? It's your boy Poppy Wolf, and today we're gonna be talking about the Baruto anime. And I've, I've been I've been hiding off on this a bit, but now that we're finally getting to some manga content, um, I'm ha more ha more than happy, ugh, more than happy to cover the content. So let's jump right in, shall we? So we start off with episode 181, and then we get the we have um, it's basically chapter 16 if I recall, chapter 16 of the manga, um, just fully animated. So we see the car meeting about the the whereabouts of the vessel now <laughs> this is so dope man i'm really i'm really happy that the anime kind of goes above and beyond now with the manga content like it's been it's been holding off on doing like a lot of it and now that it finally gets to it is doing an absolute wondrous job it's giving us more than we've ever had when we first when the manga first came out like, don't get me wrong the manga has its uh low ships it has a, it has its greatness and it has its lowness and one of the moments is that sometimes it kind of felt dry it kind of felt like okay well you're telling us this but we're not seeing it so you know what's good like what's when did this happen like it, it it's just very it's very it's not very like again like it's wait and see not really show and tell but the anime goes goes above and beyond to show us more we get a character we get character um characterization yeah we get we can just get to see how the characters act we see how Delta acts. We get to see how Code acts, and a lot of this stuff is really fun because we see their personality through these little like exchanges, and I think that's so dope, guys. Like, it's one thing seeing it on a panel and saying, "Okay, I wonder how he says this," but it's seeing how they do it, and it just goes to show like why like reading it is great and everything, but sometimes just watching it is phenomenal. Oh my lord, is phenomenal! By the way, animation amazing just amazing already um i just love seeing this and i love how we see gn and how everyone's fighting and trying to blame like how code blames victor and has that kind of like well i mean whoever ship it was must be his fault right he should know everything that's going on and it's just kind of like uh <laughs> well you see was uh what had happened was <laughs> it's just cool to see victor kind of like afraid and i think he knows because these people can defeat him and destroy him in a heartbeat and no no point is this ever taken a home further than we when we see at the end of this meeting caution koji is fucking there ready to clean up his ass and he victor tries to play off this like oh yeah yeah like victor is one of those people who can't help but not be the smartest person in the room like if he's not he just is he feels defeated so in order to, to prevent feeling defeated he doesn't give in he thinks he has won over everybody about the whereabouts of the vessel and that's only because he has the data of the vessel little did he know they saved deepa's head and then they found out everything so caution koji's there to like really just burn his ass up and it's just so fucking dope to see like i know who caution koji is guys like you don't have to spoil me already but like it's just so cool to see this attack and victor who's all we've already seen in like the last arc and just been built up and we've seen who's put fades on him to be taken out so easily with an attack that's so hot it burns faster that he can even regenerate that shit's fucking wild man a person who gave orochimaru a little uh a little bit of trouble i mean orochimaru could have kept going for years for years out of the battle reg regeneration but like it's just one of those things like you think damn like you know these people don't play like these people are not like to be you know shrugged off as like okay maybe the they they're not as strong as this person no they might be stronger they might be stronger no the, the episode continues with uh naruto and baruto sparring match and i have to say man like this is a long time coming this is greatness at its finest bro like seeing naruto in the locker room talking with mitsuki giving him the whole like mickey talk and telling him like yo like, are you good and then baruto kind of reflecting on like I need to show everybody that I will, I'm not just still a cheater. Although I don't think anyone still sees him that way, but I see what he means. He wants to prove himself to himself, not to his dad anymore. It's no longer about daddy's appreciation. It's about far to showing everybody that I'm not my dad and I can be better. And do we get that, bro? It's it's dope to see how Baruto and Naruto kind of go at each other and how Baruto's more like tactician mind while well, naruto's role like all right let's do it <laughs> it's 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 funny because you think well damn could kid baruto beat kid naruto i think he can a lot of people say no he can't 
uh Kid Naruto had like so much fucking chakra in the world like this motherfucker made like a thousand shadow clones but could he use them to the fullest potential if Boruto could do the same thing I think he'd be a lot more dangerous than his dad was and it's it's so dope to see this how like he uses just the three shadow clones and he can do a lot more with them than Naruto ever did as a kid I mean Bar- I mean to be fair Naruto just used all of them to dogpile and to like num- like make a numbers game but I mean still you know what I mean like we see him use everything he's ever learned up to the anime like we see him do the gale burst the rasengan we even see him do like this fun little like uh thunder thunder style shuriken and i think people forget like barjo has three nature chakras bruh homeboy has water style wind style and lightning style bruh like fuck dude like you have to remember like naruto didn't learn wind style till he was like 15 like the fact that um kuwaki not kuwaki that the, what itami iwabe the fact that iwabe knew earth style so proficiently already and he wasn't even a genin yet was already people were like oh wow he's impressive like if it's just raw power and everything this guy is definitely like getting like almost tuning level and even kakashi commented on baruto already like as just like when before they even became a genin a uh, baruto was already at a tuning level like he's powered they're powerful enough to keep up with some of like the lower class shinobi. i want to say lower class but they're, they're powerful enough to keep up with the mid-class shinobi you know what i'm saying they're not just like throwaways it's dope to see that it is really dope to see like like baruto at least with three nature differences is ahead of most joni i'm not saying he's joni level you have to keep in mind experience makes everything you could be like the super overpowered person but if you lack experience you lack that refinement to fight anyways the fight goes as planned we already know naruto's gonna win but it's so fun to see like Baruto just do water style and do the exact same thing that he did with the ninja tool but by himself he makes a big wave he uses it he electrifies the water Naruto uses earth style which is dope because we never really see Naruto use other um chakra natures now as much as like he uses wind bam earth style boom there's a fence uh, there's a mud wall can't get into it he, he punches the he punches through it with his arm and starts absorbing the chakra and we've been noticing that this arm has been absorbing the rasengans this has been absorbing the chakra it's a new ninja tool but it doesn't throw it back it just absorbs and because he got distracted by this naruto lands the blow baruto goes down and then baruto's like damn like what the hell and then naruto teaches him another lesson about yo like sometimes you need to like you need to understand like if you're thinking about thinking about thinking you're gonna miss the thing that's right in front of you like you have to remember there's there's hidden messages and hidden messages and it just plays more to home that like damn so like what is the real lesson here and i think the lesson is you know you you have to be smarter but you also have to be as visual as smart you have to be aware of not just your surroundings but like every surrounding that you have like you can't just be like lost in thought in a fight or try to be like outsmarting your opponent like, you have to be also like conscious during this fight as well again yeah so great we see a lot of greatness in this i i just enjoyed this so much um we continue with um uh we continue with uh yeah i'm sorry all this noise is banging i hate it i'm sorry it's not in my house uh we see go on a room uh Mugino, you know, like just look at the vessel ship and see what's going on and we find that the ship's crashed there's nobody piloting remember the ship was remote controlled but there's someone let le- let someone left like there's an empty little box and we see someone step up right behind i believe it's delta i don't remember but yeah so we, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see some action next week but i really want to talk about the opening and the closing the opening at least and the opening is so dope it's so nice and i love how it's portrayed and i think what's so powerful about this there's a certain scene in the opening i'm gonna the opening will probably be playing through the whole time of this review along with the fight when naruto is like we see red to be described for both um kuwaki and naruto but blue for both sasuke and baruto it it, it just a little interesting that why are those colors associated you would think that they would be associated like that but no they're not and i think it's because kuwaki re- relates more with naruto and 
I don't want to get into spoilers here, but I'm, I'm not gonna try to. But it's just, it's just hinting that Kawaki's gonna be more like a Naruto person, hands on Naruto, and uh, Sasuke's already put his hands on approach with Naruto. But yeah, there was just the opening looks really amazing too. I really wanted to comment on it because I was already like a gas when I was looking at it. I was already like, oh my god, this is so slick. This looks dope. I fucking love it. Let's get it. I, I'm just enjoying it. But anyways, um, if I had to give this episode, I would honestly give it a 10 out of 10. I fucking enjoyed the fuck out of it. I don't think there was anything too wrong with it. Like I just wasn't. I enjoyed it up to down. Like everything. It left me. It left me wanting more. It didn't leave me unsatisfied. I thought it was a perfect episode. I know a lot of people are like, no, in order for it to be perfect, it has to have a little um. I think altogether for like a setup episode, it was perfect. It it, it just did everything we wanted. It teased us of what's gonna happen next. It it gave us a nice little fight, and it gave us uh, the faces and character like the character like the the emotions and the characterizations of the enemy to expect how these people act and how they're gonna go about. I honestly give this episode a ten out of ten. I loved it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. But this is your boy Poppy Wolf saying peace.